Hi, this is Ruth Guggenheim with GPS for the Jewish Soul. We'd like to welcome you back to our series, and I'd like to welcome back Rivka Malka Perlman from Hi. Baltimore, Maryland. It's always so nice having you on with us and, and just okay. sharing and talking. You know, I thought today perhaps we could talk about the mikvah and the yes. healing power of the mikvah yes. and the water. Yeah. What do you think? Yeah. Yeah, fantastic topic. Let's do it. Okay. Okay. What is a mikvah? A mikvah is a specialized <clears throat> body of water that um, is connected to a natural source. So actually the ocean could be a mikvah, but if you have an indoor mikvah, it's more like a spa. Beautiful, private, with this, you know, one area where there's this small pool that's connected to rainwater. And it's very, very special. So the mikvah is a ritual that's for both men and women, both in different ways. And I'll tell you what's cool about this. The mikvah is all about rejuvenation. It's a rebirth, mm -hmm. like the womb, the water in the womb. You're going back underneath and you're coming out new. And it takes us back all the way to the beginning of creation, to the original, the original birth, the birth of creation, you know? So check it out, Ruth. This is it's something so beautiful to think about. Do you ever think about that there's always a constant amount of water in the world? It um, feels like, you know, 90% chance of rain, right? Okay. But actually, the water that's in the ocean, it evaporates and becomes the clouds. And then that comes down as rain. And then that, where does it go? It changes into gas, into, but it's always the same. So when you interact with water, something very, very special going on, you're connecting back to the beginning of time. Mm. Yeah. So how does this play into women and what do we do with this? I see the question <laughs> in your eyes. <laughs> Tell us more. Okay, so it's like this. In this day and age, we are so out of touch. You agree? We're just out of touch. Well, sometimes as women, you know, I certainly feel overwhelmed, overwhelmed. trying to do my job, mm -hmm. have children, you know, mm -hmm. trying to maintain a home, be a professional. It, it, it is difficult. It is. Yeah. it is. It's like there's the to-do list and you don't get a break because here's the feeling. If I take a break, it'll all fall apart. Right? We're in overdrive. Well, we are in big overdrive. And one of those things is that we don't connect with nature in the same way. And we don't mm. connect with ourselves in the same way. So the mikvah says, like, hold up, woman. There's a cycle, a natural ebb and flow that goes on in your energy, in your chemistry, in your moods. And that is represented by your menstrual cycle. Something is happening. You're not always the same. Do you ever like, wake up, you're in a great mood one day, you're in a horrible mood? Yeah, okay, you never get in a horrible mood. I don't want to mood. go there. Yeah, yeah, we hope. A little bipolar at times, for sure. Exactly, right, right. So then there's like those times of month, you're not quite, you're off a little sometimes. You're, and, you know, a commercial will tell you, go do all your regular things, but just, that's not what the Torah says. The Torah says, woman, I made you like this. I love you like this. You're like the moon. The moon is, it waxes, it wanes, and that's how we are. So during the time when a woman menstruates, she, she takes a break in certain intimacies with her husband and she says, this is my time, my time to feel my feelings where we can communicate in words and I can lay low for a bit. And after that time, I'm going to go take a day off or an evening off and go to the mikvah mm. and fully immerse and rebirth myself and take as much time as I want and get, I used to get a pedicure, get a pedicure, get a, take your time and come back ready to give again because sometimes we're in overdrive we give 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 and little resentments fill up you know you're mentioning something yeah. also about the healing power of the mikvah i know that there are women now and i think it's it's a beautiful yes. healing experience women who have been traumatized whether yes. it's through you know rape god forbid or some kind of abuse mm. and both men too where they go now to the mikvah as a healing ritual it, it is a time it's not just also we know the people that we work with that go th become jews by choice Thank they you. go to the mikvah yes. because they are rejuvenating themselves it's a part of spiritual yes. awakening and spiritual healing that you are now in a different place you're spiritually healed and whole I'm so, so yeah. glad you brought that up. I am because as a mom, I was kind of addressing one side of it, but the mikvah is available at so many different times of your life. Mm -hmm. You know, when I, I do a mikvah tour sometimes, and 
Um, the mikvah attendant told me that this one of, one of her most powerful times is when someone comes in to convert to Judaism and they, they go in one way and they come out another way. So true. You know, I, I've had, literally, I call it the blessing of being involved with quite a few individuals that have become Jews by choice. Yes. And I've taken a few of them to the mikvah. Oh and when God. they come out, you know, it, it's literally, it, their yeah. whole face is shining. It's rebirth. It's something that I wish at times we could recapture, you know. Yeah, that so newness. It's, um, you know, Rivka, Rivka Mock, I, I appreciate your coming and sharing sure. your thoughts with us sure. once, again, once again. Thank you, everyone, for joining us at GPS for the Jewish Soul. Have a good day.